Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, YouTube. I'm so tired. I didn't realize I was recording at first. But I wanted to come back, like I said I would, and show you. Finally got some stuff done. Okay. Um, I'm getting ready to work on the other big, large portion of the, the dressing. This is the cornbread. Haven't put anything in it. I just took all the knots out, the um, balled up pieces of cornbread. So, um, here's the duck. I already put the orange glaze over it. And these are the hens. And I've done this before and it turned out to be very delicious. Um, the hens are good on, like, on their own. But the duck, as you see, I drained, you can see the pan, I drained most of the grease off. Um, because I'm going to use it for the, um, my parents' stuff, and I just poured some over it. But, um, this is it. These are the hands and the duck. And it tastes, it, it tastes really good when you cook it this way. Um, they're all birds, so, <laughs> um, but I did just put the orange glaze over the duck by itself. So, I want to show you guys that. Cover that back up, and I need to cover up my dressing, my um, cornbread too, real quick. There. I just finished mashing all that up, and I'm gonna show you the, the pig feet are coming along. I added uh, four potatoes to them. Um, and I forgot to mention this at the beginning, I think. Um, I actually added um, about three ounces of white vinegar. And I just put an onion in there, too, with the potatoes. So once these bad boys are done boiling, I'll put them on the smoker. Don't play. And uh, it's going to be the bomb. I'm going to go out here and show you the turkey. The turkey is actually done. It's going to get a little dark, you guys. The turkey is actually done. I just need to take it off the grill. It looks good. I had to get a little piece. It is fire. Okay, it's really the bomb. Oh, y'all, look how good that looks. Look at that. Don't play. You can. <laughs> you can't touch me when it comes to the grill. But this is the turkey. Again, I cut it in half, so it's a big boy. And my little wood chips over here, I think they're done smoking. So I'm going to have to put some more coals down there. My husband, he's not home from work, so I'm going to have to take care of that myself because the temperature is starting to come down on this big boy. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this off the grill, get the juices off, put it in the dressing. And I'm going to add it to... I'm sorry, to this pan here. But that's pretty much it. Um, with the meats, I got the meats done. Um, well, the feet's still cooking, but <laughs> um, I'm excited. I can't wait till tomorrow. And I told my kids, I said, well, we probably can taste a little something on um, this evening if everything gets done. But we'll see. I still got to make the mac and cheese, which I got to show you guys that. And I actually, I put the sweet potatoes, the candy yams, in the oven once I took the other, the duck and the hens out. So, but I'll be back shortly. Okay. I came back to show you guys. I got some sage and coming on top here, and this is my third time adding more sage. Um, again, like I mentioned earlier, you have to taste as you mix, and. You want to make sure you mix the dressing, mix everything very well. Toss it several times. Um, you want your ingredients to be distributed very evenly throughout the entire pan. I know it probably doesn't look too good in this camera, but it really does. Make a mess on the table. Not now. 
Put the spoon in the sink, sweetie. Go wash your hands. I'm sorry, I keep moving the camera. But I need to finish mixing this and get it in the oven. After that, all I have left is the mac and cheese. And I think that's it. I want to show you guys my turkey, my daughter, um, turkey, little picture of turkey. Blah, blah, blah. I'm tired, I've been up since five, okay? <laughs> the turkey uh, my daughter made in school today. It's cute. See it? Oh, so cute, darn it. I was like, I'll put it up on the, the table. But I'll come back once I start making the mac and cheese. Down to the mac and cheese. Um, I only have about seven minutes left on this, and I don't want to have to like upload and then come back. So I'm gonna try to make this quick. I'm using mozzarella shredded cheese. I'm gonna use this whole bag. I, we we around here we like you know cheesy cheesy macaroni. Um, I'm gonna use the whole bag of the mild cheddar and. The Mexican style. Okay, it's basically just a combination of shredded mo Monterey Jack, Mal Cheddar. Um, and let's just talk about some enchilada stuff, whatever. And I'm going to use about probably um, take this off because this, even though it's turned off and with these electric stoves, it's still hot. Probably about eight ounces of milk, teaspoon of garlic, and just um, probably about four dashes this much sea salt. I don't know if you want to consider that to be a half teaspoon. Um, that's so it won't be too salty, just to add a little more flavor to it. Because you know, cheese is salt, it can be salty by itself, depending on what type of cheese you get. But um, I may even use some Velveeta cheese. I took the top off. Here. But this is Velveeta cheese. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm not going to do any. Um, bread crumbs or anything like that. My husband don't like that. So uh, the kids don't care. Macaroni is macaroni. I'm so tired, you guys. It's going. It's what 8:20. Um, Thanksgiving Eve. <laughs> I've been going all day. I just took all the other food I cooked earlier. Um, no, I cooked two pots of greens, two set of two pots of dressing, um, and I cooked the hen and the duck, and um, I took all that to my mom. So I'm finishing up tonight. So all I got to do is just go over there and come back home. There's gonna be plenty of food here too. So, um, but that's pretty much it. I'll probably give a rundown of everything I cooked. No, I just, I showed you guys everything. The mac and cheese, I can, um, you guys know what mac and cheese look like. But I just wanted to show you what I'm using in it. It's simple stuff. Um, sometimes I use oregano cheese, but I wasn't trying to walk backtrack in the store, so. But I'll see you guys, um, later on in the week, maybe next week or something. Till then, be blessed, stay blessed, and have a great, thankful Thanksgiving. We have so much to be thankful for. I just turned to 35 in September. The age is nothing but a number. If anything, I'm blessed to reach 35. So, um, I just want to let you guys know that. And have a good one.